now we've, we've highlighted on all of them what we have not done is uh, give people a chance to ask questions uh mm. how much how much longer do you have i could be here all night this is i love doing this eh? this is my csr project so, well, uh, so if you have some time I hope you recorded start... this you're gonna upload it on your on your platform so that more people get to see it uh yes. so it's yes. very important for you yeah. and for the sake of people around us sure. now uh, uh we can There's take a about doctor called uh, dr dr tech tech called a fair key she she's mm. asking he is asking if he can join so can he bring him in <clears throat> okay uh doctor let me see if i can add him ah okay could you request dr tackle a for k let him request and come in let me see if i can <clears throat> i don't know how to add somebody let me i've followed him that's one and let me add him as a guest yeah so, so been taking, i've been taking water <laughs> oh doctor uh, kindly tell us your name Tekele Afwe. Hello, my brothers hey. and sisters hello shalom bro brother you've been given life not information you've been given life to <laughs> our people i don't know where you practice where do you practice again where are you based in i'm in kenya in, in kenya you're lucky i'm based in the uk and ah, i'm trained in the uk my name okay. is uh, Tekla Hyman of Afroki. I go by the name Dr. Afroki. I'm a cardiovascular okay. specialist. Uh, prior to that, wow. a pharmacist for 14 years. 14 yeah. years I've been given medication, not knowing that it was a lie and a scum. And then I gave yeah. up my study to go, instead of treating symptoms, I got to understand what the root cause is. And my PhD yeah. clearly implies that there is no disease that needs medication other than aging. Aging is the only yeah. thing that we actually need to come up with something. Obviously, Acute conditions like, say, if you have a bacterial infection, a viral infection, and related terms, we've got to use medication. Or else, especially us, our ancestors, they predefined what life is like for us. Mm -hmm. The West and the big pharma, and then I declare this in a professional capacity. I've done it for 14 years. I know what I'm talking about. I haven't seen a single person whom I've been given medication for chronic conditions going better in their condition not even a single person they either never come back because they are gone or they come back for more medication and that triggered yeah. the essence within me as a christian that i got to look for the solution because i wasn't serving the purpose that i did my studies so sure. i ended up going back into doing my phd and in my phd the answer is food and especially us we have a <laughs> culture i appreciate you for coming through can i tell you something sir like where i am in kenya even you cannot differentiate between somebody who is a diploma holder and somebody who is a degree holder in pharmacy so for us the diploma holders are called pharmaceutical technologists and the bachelor holders are called the pharmacists you cannot differentiate all these people have been tied down to a window and from morning to evening what they do is two times three two times one two times four <laughs> that is what they do they do nothing else apart from that and it's so unfortunate that this is the same people who keep on fighting the information that we are sharing. Because I understand from health basis, a pharmacist can easily understand because he understands drugs. So if he understands the mode of action of these drugs, he can actually use that mode of action to go back and know the cause and then prevent the cause. So the pharmacists are actually letting us so down. And you see, they are actually submitting to doctor's orders every time that, hey, do not substitute. They write a prescription and tell the pharmacist do not substitute. And yet, the pharmacist is the one who has monopoly of medications and medicines. So why would he be, why, why not him to be the one to advise the doctor about therapy and other alternatives about from, apart from drugs? So I realized every consultation ends up in a prescription. And that is not right. I don't like it. So here is the thing. Uh, if I may add um, into what you've just said. Um, I don't know what it's like, the structure of the training and the arrangement with the healthcare in Kenya. But in the UK, there has always been a rivalry. Now, pharmacists are trained to be independent prescribers. What that means uh -huh. is that they can specialize in a specific area and then they can yeah. actually prescribe. So yeah. hear me out. The, the pharmacists are trained to prescribe. And my training implies that we have to de-prescribe. What that means is that we've got to take people out of polypharmacy. But then you've got to appreciate a lot of the institutions or not i mean we are trained in an institution that serves their purpose so 
much of the research science is funded by pharmaceutical industries. By pharmaceutical much of them. So much of the training, much of the, much of the schools are trained with the mindset that when someone is sick, they've got to depend on medication. Say, on my own, I serve it. I'm Eritrean. And I serve only Eritrean, whoever can get access to my like guidance and information. 5,700 people whom they would have gone into either medication or they would have been in a polypharmacy for about 17 years, like insulin. I don't believe in type 2 diabetes. There is no such thing. There is insulin resistance that gives birth to about 12 killing conditions. Call it increased inflammation in the bloodstream, increased inflammation in the tissue, increased uh, neuroinflammation, neurodegeneration, and that ultimately really leads into atherosclerosis, the blockage of the blood vessels, accumulation of cholesterol in blood vessels, and in the um, intra organs or the vascular fat. Ultimately, that increases body weight because of the pharmaceutical industries own the food industry. The food industry prepares us to the medication that pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical industry are uh, designing for us. So pretty much it's a, a yin-yang cycle between food and medicine. And we are completely lost as migrants, especially us. I'm concerned about us. I'm concerned about the people who look like me who live abroad. Yeah. When they go to a doctor yeah. and the doctor doesn't give them a prescription just because he's a like, If they are lucky, that person is, that doctor is conscious and awake, they would be very upset because we are conditioned to think the medication is the answer. But I give you this 14 years of experience in pharmacy that medicine is in the food, not in the drugs. And if you live abroad, please follow me and follow up my instruction. I give up my license. I don't practice pharmacy now. I still are registered, but wherever I go, I create a problem. I refuse to give medication when I see it wasn't necessary. But then this led into a conflict of interest with the pharmacy owners. If they own the business, the only way you grow a pharmacy, hear me out here, the only way you grow your business, because pharmacy is a business, medical practice is a business, the only way you can keep your pharmacy growing is, number one, to keep your client for life. Okay? Sure. Number two, you've got to have more medication to give out. That's the only way you make a tariff, serving it from the subsidiary of the government and or selling the drugs firsthand. So this concept is missed within our community. The African, especially us East Africans, when we come to the West, we think the doctor have the answers. I guarantee you, you will find it out the hard way. If you don't hear it from doctor, I'm so sorry, I don't have your name. Lewis, Dr. Lewis. Dr. Lewis. Dr. Lewis, who is speaking truth. It's painful, it hurts, it's against the consensus we are trained to think, but this will save the next generation. You and me, we are in a hell of a problem. We, Man, we, we, actually, we, we actually appreciate our host. Betty, this, this was, this is actually a live that, that that totally makes sense because yeah. everything that is being shared here right now True. is going to change lives of people and you might think it's a small thing that you just did a live and it's because of maybe your growth and stuff and because you just want to interact with people who are doing different things on these platforms but you have actually changed a whole life of or a whole generation mm -hmm. this is so appreciated this life is just so important for everybody and i like it that 500 people are here and these 500, if they change even one person, we will have a whole generation that will follow. And by the way, yeah. is it, uh, it's so sad that yeah. the, the people who are trained to change lives are the ones who are trained to keep you on medications for a lifetime. Nobody was designed to be on medications for a lifetime. Yeah. Actually, Man, people are, they are appreciating this very much. Eh? People yeah. are saying we should be doing this every once a month. And I if I can add one thing though, please, <laughs> Betty, and then yes. I don't want to disrupt your schedule. If I may compliment Dr. Lewis. No, um, no, 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 just continue. Please, don't, no, you don't need to go away. Not in, too my, fast. in my community, we had a scientific community, especially that was born out of COVID. We were collaborating from different parts of the world. And when I start to object this whole consensus without, you know, being very explicit, uh, the resistance increased. A bunch of yeah. people that I used to collaborate with ganged up against my idea that people yeah. should first exhaust every possible avenue at home, first work in the kitchen before they jump into the doctor. And then I've, I've yeah. developed so many proposals and then they refused them and or created a podcast where they gather up with other medical practicing doctors to say this is not the right information. What is not right is that they can't find a single person, not even a single person, whom they have been medicating who's got their insulin resistance dropped, blood pressure decreased, and or the cholesterol eliminated. Yeah. 
Yeah. But I have I have a witness. Now we are approved with CDC, which we don't want it anyway, because that is an agenda of yeah. trying to mingle with and then find a means to decredit us later. But what I do is raise awareness that the medicine is in the lifestyle, the medicine is in the food that we eat. There are three basic things, okay? We are what we eat, period. So food is what makes us who we are. So the food, yeah. especially, um, we, we speak about gut microbiom and everything because as this, you don't find an East African who looks like a Nigerian. It's almost impossible. We look like who we are based in the dynamics of our gut microbiom in our, in our community, in our geographical location. When we migrate to the West, the gut microbiome in the West doesn't match up with the one that we have in us. And everything we eat has three poisons. One is lack of fiber. What we eat at home is full of fiber. In the West, you can't find that. And in place of it, they mix it up with something like trans fat to preserve yeah. it. So take fiber, add trans fat, then they preserve it. And then they take glucose out, but they have more than 67 different forms of sugar to add in the food, and they call it sugar-free. Now, not knowing this, not being trained clinically or not being trained in a capacity, me and Dr. Lewis are privileged enough to study. When you tell them, people, just because they have a doctor credit or just because they're qualified, I went to edX and I've, I've got six degrees. I don't mean to be big headed, but I studied in an area, try a first degree and second degree in chemistry. I came here, first degree and second degree in pharmacy. And then I did precision medicine because of this pain. And that led to a point, precision medicine is available, but only for the rich. I'm not rich, yeah. I'm Eritrean. I mean, I'm in a, in a, I am rich back home, but not here. At home, mm -hmm. I go harvest and eat, no fuss, no problem. In the West, it doesn't matter how much you earn, you cannot be rich. And that money that you need to have your precision medicine, I don't know how much you know Dr. Lewis about pharmacogenium. What that means is that you give them your saliva and then that ultimately yeah. leads to your enzymes and they give you the right medication. Medicine work, I'm not against medicine, I'm against the prescription that is being propagated. Now, yeah. Food is the answer. Gut is the ultimate power that we've got to work with. A muscle and a gut corrected means we're healthy. Okay? So a lot of us really are lost in the narrative. And I mean, obviously, we're propagated with, there's a lot of propaganda about how this helps, how that helps, the, uh, the advertisement, how cook, and the rest of them, KFC, cock, processed food, anything that has trans fat, anything that, has, that doesn't have fiber, anything that has any kind of sugar outside fruit and food itself, which is obviously the fructose and the, the phytonutrients in vegetables and fruits, we do not need any table sugar of any kind. That's the only problem that we've got to address in our kitchen. So what you were saying, I was like so captivated and I, I, I was worried for you because you, here I don't, I don't have an issue to lose a license, but you speak this, you, they censor you, and they'll find a means to like pretty much tap you out. Because if, if, if 500 people here stop taking medication, can you imagine if they were in one city, they wouldn't have been no pharmacy? Man, and nowadays in Kenya, That's there's a, a pharmacy ad on, on, on every, in every apartment, there's a pharmacy nowadays. A pharmacy mm. and a liquor store, every apartment. Mm. <laughs> so imagine 500 people, Man. all of them live now in Nairobi. And all of them refuse to go to the pharmacy, but instead fix their kitchen first and go pick food from the farm, not from the shops, from the farm. People are not aware about insecticides, pesticides, herbicides. They're not about smart fresh. You probably wouldn't have a smart fresh, but I eat a lettuce that has been collected from Kenya over mm -hmm. the Like it has to fly here. It has to be kept for a few days for distribution. It has to be in the shelf for a few days. By the time I eat it, it would have been gone if it is in Africa. But to keep it so fresh, Becky, if I disappear today, you already know somebody who shares the same information that I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to hijack your program, but Betty, I just want to. It's nice knowing you, Dr. Lewis, Man. Betty. And then when I hear these things, we're waking up. That's all I say. We're becoming more conscious. We're becoming more like our ancestors. We're connecting. Yeah. We don't need these degrees. Yeah. Our, our forefathers knew this. They had this wisdom. They said, fix your gut. Any problem, they went to the gut. They didn't go to the doctor. They didn't have a doctor. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, we were talking about okay. pesticides, but we were talking about fluorides. Um, if you have any problem and you cannot swallow, what they do is they give you a tablet that can okay. dissolve through your buckles. So the, yeah. the, the quickest way to get your bloodstream and to your brain is here. To the mouth, yes. It's here. Oh, yes. And nobody talks about these things. They, they're they doing a lot about it. There is a study done in Florida and places like uh, that area where they were, they're fluoriding uh, 
um, their water in the water yeah. not not even in a the Colgate. There is a lot of propaganda. There is a lot of agenda, which is a pseudoscience. As a scientist, I don't have a complete information that can that I can verify. That's not peer reviewed. But yet again, they're not going to give you information in that capacity. But we're not oblivious. We've got to take care of us first of all, as our household. And as East Africans, we've got to work around this. By the way, I love your president. I have not, I'm not political, but how he's trying to bring us all together and find mm -hmm. a means to tap on this problem. I think we're going to get somewhere. And thank you so much, man, for that. It, the, the insight, Maze. Uh, uh, I feel so good to have such conversations. And at least somebody sees what I see. Man, this, thank you so much, Dr. Ari. Uh, this, and I, I'll get to you. I, I believe I'll get to you. Trust me. We need to make this a bigger a bigger thing than it is than it just sounds so we need to grow even bigger so i'll make sure that i get to you so yeah thank you so much for coming i through. appreciate that thank you i, I will thank i'll you, let you i'll let thank others so ask much. questions and engage thank you for giving me the right. platform and of very course, nice yeah. knowing you all bro all right you're chins up we will fight this thank you i'll be yes, following you. i've already followed you on TikTok. i'll be following your conversations as well thank you so much dr thank you. we appreciate your we appreciate your presence thank you god bless you i appreciate that Man. Bye -bye. Man. all right Man. okay this i is just cold. followed it's you cold. you see you see betty i think i'm, I'm gonna <laughs> become a doctor soon man I think I've graduated. I, today, I'll, I'm changing my name to mm. Dr. Betty. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening to this gentleman speak and... He speaks hey, Bana, it's so inspiring, Bana. It's your language, It's man. so inspiring. Yeah. And you see, this is a universal language, only that they, they, they suppress it so much. Imagine them pulling out videos yeah. about hormonal contraceptives, videos that are supposed to help our women because they know their agenda is not to change the agenda is not to control birth in the women because <laughs> if they had an agenda to control birth they yeah. would have put these contraceptives to men because men are the ones that carry the seed yes. but why did they put it why did they give these things to our women because they know women are emotional and mm -hmm. men are growing weaker by day so they weaken men through all these things the foods yeah. and the butter the masturbation and pornography so once they weaken the men yeah. they will allow women to use these things because of emotions and mm -hmm. imagine such a video being pulled down what does that tell you My and God, now God. they are actually making who a huge deal oh. that who is the one that is supposed to control every health content yeah. just think about that and this is this is an organization that is actually receiving funding from these wealthy countries yeah so the future is only bright if you get this information and mm -hmm. use it so uh, for the 500 people who are on your platform right now, Betty, yes, these are the people that will understand our language and they will not go into, a, into your inbox trying to bash you. But those who are not here, who are sleeping, mm -hmm. put a video They're out sleeping. now. They're and somewhere. Tomorrow... They're not sleeping. <laughs> it is Saturday night. Doc, do this. Yeah, they are, they are, they are, they are you... messing up their systems. Mm. Can you kindly talk about, eh? kindly talk yeah. about uh, uh, birth control pills? And give me a second, I'll be right back. Birth control, I have seen that a lot here. All right? Okay, so, so. Take the platform. So, uh, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, for the gentlemen who are here, birth control also affects us. So, birth control is in the hands of the man. The man is the one who carries the seed. And if you don't plant that seed, that shamba will have nothing. There will, no, there will be no growth. So if you give birth control pills to women, you are actually messing up these women. And the burden will go back to the men because men are the ones who are supposed to provide and protect these women. So since we are exposing these women, we failed in our protection role and we are exposing them to the big pharma to load their systems with birth control pills. The burden will come to us. So it will, it will be tough on us. Right now it looks very good. It looks very interesting because it's short term. Seven years down the line, our women are suffering from cervical and breast cancer. Our women are suffering from hormonal imbalances. Our women are gaining weight massively. Our women are having migraines every day. Our women are running into depression on a daily basis. And the only thing that comes as a, at the end of that is a new prescription for hormonal contraceptives. And unfortunately, you will be given another three month cycle of a hormone drug. Our women are suffering from fibroids, polycystic ovarian syndrome, and all these conditions are because of estrogen dominance. 
and estrogen dominance, all most of these hormonal contraceptives are progestins and estrogens. They are not progesterones. They are they are synthetic. That's why they are called progestins and estrogens. So they are synthetic, and they are topping up on the levels of estrogen in our women, and this is becoming a serious problem. So these women are adding so much weight, they're getting into depression, migraines every day, vaginal spotting, all these cancers coming later on, and high blood pressure, and infections. You have concurrent and recurrent infections of your vagina because you're thinking that maybe your man is going out with another woman or maybe it's because of your... No, it's because of that contraceptive that you're using because it lowers your immunity and once it does that, it predisposes you to infection. Add on that the sugars that you're eating and the carbohydrates that you're eating on a daily basis that are processed. So hormonal contraceptives are a no. Whether the tablet, whether the implant or the injection, stay away from them. If your man cannot put on a condom, then he has to retain his semen through semen retention. If he cannot do this too, because don't buy the idea of, uh, of, of, of the pull-out game. It has failed terribly. <laughs> don't buy that idea. If your man cannot put on a condom, then he has to retain his semen because ejaculation and orgasm for a man, they are two different things. So a man can have sex, enjoy sex, get an orgasm without having necessarily to ejaculate. Aimless ejaculation is weakening the man, weakening testosterone. No wonder men are becoming more emotional by day. No wonder men are, be are becoming, they are becoming so chaotic. And unfortunately, the males that are this chaotic are the same who are sitting on platforms in parliaments that are supposed to design rules that are supposed to protect our women. They are easily influenced, they are given money in the toilets and they go ahead and pass bills that are going to weaken our women. They are thinking they are doing it for the woman, but the end result will come to them because all these cancer bills, all these infection bills, all these problems will definitely fall on the man because the man is the ultimate provider for that family. So you go ahead and put your woman on hormonal contraceptives, you will pay heavily because when they will get to fibroids, you will pay for that surgery. When they get to PICOS, you will pay for that. You will pay for cancer therapy and it's very expensive. It will drain you as a man. So it's high time men stand against the evil because contraceptives are not here to help our women. Same to NGOs. They are here to propagate the agenda. And you know the agenda, LGBTQ, you know that agenda. You know the agenda of depopulation, your agenda of religion and all these things. So they are always having something they are pushing into our throats. So women do not, contraception is not in your, in your lane. Let the man protect you. It's that simple. If you want to enjoy sex and unprotected sex, you go ahead, but you will suffer the consequences because you're the one who is giving access to sex. Men only give, they give access to who to marry, but you're giving access to sex and who to get children to. So all the consequences of that process will come to you as a woman. Stay away from hormonal contraceptives by all means. Okay, someone is asking about uh, the IUD, the coil. Uh -huh. and if, you're not, if you're not doing uh, the hormonal, what what would you suggest other than uh, okay? What other what non-hormonal methods are there for people? Again, just remember, birth control is in the hands of men, not women. But uh -huh. if your man, if you're married to a male, a male, not a man, a male, they will put you on those contraceptives. So for the IUD, we have two: we have the hormonal and non-hormonal, the copper one. So the hormonal one out. The copper one, the symptoms that you'll experience, the side effects that you'll experience, abdominal uh, upsets and sometimes sporting and infection once in a while. But if this, if you can't handle that, then don't use it. So someone is asking, what about a uh, vasectomy? Huh? Why would you cut off your manhood? Why would you castrate men? That is one way of making men weak. Don't mm -hmm. do tubal ligation. Don't do vasectomy. Okay. These are ways of them trying to actually depopulate Africa, which is just okay. But the reality is, why would a man... A man who cuts off his manhood, a man who goes to be castrated, mm -hmm. <laughs> that is a very weak man. You cannot, you cannot withstand your desires. You cannot actually control your sexual desires. Mm -hmm. You can't. So by the time you're going to be cut off your, your, your balls, it basically means you are an aimless ejaculator, you are a chronic masturbator, and you cannot handle your sexual desires. That means... Sex has taken the center stage in your life. You've lost purpose. Okay, someone is saying they had scheduled for a vasectomy tomorrow. Tell them to send me that money. <laughs> I will I will supply them with condoms. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and yesterday was a world vasectomy day. Imagine we even have a world vasectomy day. Seriously? So, so a world, a world, let's call it what it is, a world castration day. Yeah, the, what, something that stuck by me, yeah, when we had a, a conversation earlier this morning, you know, yeah. you're saying that sex was, was created for procreation, not, not, not for recreation. recreation. Yes, it is the Western, it's the Western world that has made it recreational and we have adapted to that because sex gives you dopamine hit, the same thing that is coming from the food industry. So yes. we get dopamine hits after an ejaculation and then we yeah. become zombies. Men cannot hold a, a, a constant conversation with a woman without mm -hmm. having to think about sex. Men are becoming super emotional because of aimless ejaculation and lowering of testosterone. Men are having a problem with making women pregnant when need <laughs> arises because of low sperm count and poor quality sperm count because of the diets, the lifestyle and aimless ejaculation. So why would a man ejaculate if he doesn't want babies? Most men cannot handle the responsibility that comes with their ejaculation. So why are they ejaculating? Whoa. Why? Why? When they can have an orgasm without an ejaculation. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh huh. Someone was asking about uh, hepatitis, and someone else was talking about a child, <laughs> a seventeen-year-old boy. I don't know whether boy or girl who has diabetes. Is it was was that boy born diabetic or he was told he's diabetic? They didn't say. So maybe you can highlight on both ends. Type one diabetes, destruction in the pancreas. If you're born with it, that's a problem. But the kids, organs in babies can easily rejuvenate. So the pancreas in babies can easily rejuvenate. Just get them off simple and processed carbohydrates. Also, even off the complex carbohydrates. Let them go on a protein, fatty protein, mm -hmm. and vegetables, and uh, fatty meats, and mm -hmm. also the avocados. These are foods that will help them. Then let them go on an intermittent fast. And then let them work out because they want to ease their cells from these sugars. Let them go and work out. So if you have a baby who is type 1 diabetic, insulin will not solve the situation. Insulin is a temporary treatment. It will not solve the situation. What you need is they need clean keto. Clean keto, not dirty keto. Clean keto, protein, vegetables, and fat. Yeah. Clean keto, exercise, and then intermittent fasting. That's what they need to recover. Their pancreas will rejuvenate. And then talk to your doctor to lower that dose of insulin because insulin will get it worse. Remember this. Once you start giving an external shot of insulin, your pancreas, if it's failing, it will stop totally to produce that. Just the same way when you take steroid drugs, your adrenal glands stop producing steroids uh -huh. because there is a supplementation from outside. So once you lower that insulin dose, you will now, your pancreas, the beta cells will now start to rejuvenate because again, remember, they classify it as, a, as type 1 and they tell you it's an autoimmune where your own immune cells is misbehaving and targeting the beta cells that produce insulin. So what is causing this immune system to misbehave? You know that when you have crude, you have crude, the cause of inflammation in the system is the three foods. Same. And these yeah. three foods, wheat yeah. products, seed oils, and sugar in all forms. Once yeah. you get them off the system, uh -huh. This child starts to have uh, two meals a day and then you lower the dose of insulin, their pancreas is rejuvenate and they take over and this child just gets healed from diabetes. But if you put them on insulin, they will still end up being cut off their legs, they'll have kidney problems, they'll have memory loss, they'll have numbness, they'll add weight and you'll still go back to the healthcare system. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, remember we are still here live with Dr. Lewis, all right? So it, we are doing Q&A. Q&A is question and answer. So if you have any question to the doctor, I've finished my agenda that I had highlighted in the poster today. So if you have any other questions that you need to ask, this is the time. I am here for as long as the doctor can be here. I can to Kesha to Nakesha. So anyway, so I'll, I'll start yeah. <laughs> so there's a question here. I, I don't know whether, Doc, you're able to see questions on your end. Are you able to? Yes, I'm able to. I saw a question about Ozempic and I'll address it. And uh, for the uh, uh, as long as Bado Cup, let's market something. For I only market my YouTube channel and my Telegram channel. I have a Telegram channel that is called Health and Wellness Sport, and we share raw information there. There's a group of people there who will advise you on things. There's a lot of information. It's actually a mini library. So you can go there and read and understand. So that is, it's called Health and Wellness Sport. I also have a YouTube channel that has 19,191 subscribers. Please be on my YouTube channel, Health and Wellness Sport. Let's go there, support a brother. Let's grow together. And I give this information to you for free. The only thing you can do for me is to subscribe and join the group so that the bigger we become, 
the more influential we become. So that's why uh, we are here. So please join that. And you can also follow me here on TikTok as Dr. Lewis or the Health and Wellness Sport. That's what we do. So that's what's up. So Ozempic is a drug that is being used. Before you go, there's somebody who needs, I know there are people here who will not ask a question or they will not get full information on this TikTok. Mm -hmm. They will want to chat you later on. Um, How can they reach you for maybe for individualized, I don't know, talk or uh, advice on something? I know there are people who will not post their things in public and probably they are suffering or whether if it's not for them, maybe maybe it's for their families. Uh, How can they reach you after this live or even from tomorrow so that you can offer some, you know, advice on anything or answer their questions? Uh, your calls will not go through because of uh, I've limited them because I can't attend to everybody the same way and I also have a schedule to follow and I adhere to that. So uh, you can use my contacts to get to my WhatsApp and text me anything you want me to address on WhatsApp. If you want adequate time with me, I'll charge you 1500 shillings for my time, not for consultation, for my time. So if you want an adequate conversation about any health condition, I'll give you all the time you need at 1500 shillings. But if you're asking a question about health in general, I'll, I might be slow to respond. But if I get time, because Nico Shua Niki Tokahapa, I almost every time I live my life, I almost have like 100 to 300 conversations. So it's hard to, to, to answer all those. But when I can, I do. So if I get your question, it's very intriguing. I reply. There are people who I help even for free without even charging the 1500. So I don't charge any consultation. I will only charge for my time. Now. The, the contact, I don't know if uh, it's on my platform, uh, but if you're here, uh, just, I guess I'll just say it. Yeah. So, plus two five four seven fourteen eight 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 two three. That's my contact. And once you text there your problem, it will, it, there's an auto reply. There's a message that will reply you automatically. So you have to be patient. But when I see your message, I'll, I'll reply. Yes, plus uh, 147594. Yeah, uh, health and wellness port has put it out. Those who are outside the country, the code is plus 254. Those who are in the country, it's 0714 It's there already. Health and wellness port has put it out. So, yeah. So uh, right now, there's a drug that is being marketed for... Uh, obesity and diabetes in the West, and it's called Ozempic. That drug yes. right now is receiving a lot of questions. Yes. People are using it for weight loss, but, I think. Yeah, yeah Ozempic, right? So, yeah, but that I drug, that, yeah. that drug, right now, people are questioning it because of the side effects. But believe me, you, these people are not stupid. The big pharma is not stupid. They made that drug now for the sake of Africans 10 years from now. Because right now, two out of five Africans are obese. Yes. Yeah, so how about five to ten years from now? Four out of five will be obese and five out of five will be overweight. That drug is coming in very soon. And I want you to know this, that uh, drugs for diabetes, some of them, like uh, uh, there's a group that, uh, like, like people who are using a drug called Triviamet. It's combined metformin and another drug. That other drug, the gliptins, these are drugs that kill your, your pancreas. So they cause pancreatitis and they can they have been associated with pancreatic cancer. So imagine you using a drug that is supposed to help you improve insulin. And then this drug kills the organ that produces insulin. That tells you, you continue using that drug and the five years from now, you'll be on insulin therapy. So wow. it will never get better. Yeah. Yeah, they, I have a question here from a gentleman called Francis. He's asking, any information on mm-hmm. hypertension caused by malfunctioning of adrenal gland? Uh, this gentleman already has the answers because hypertension is caused by failure of the kidneys, failure of the adrenal glands, and sugar that causes occlusion of blood vessels. Yeah. So those three are the yeah. causes of hypertension plus drugs also. But if you have a failing adrenal gland, what is causing the failure in adrenal gland? Inflammation. Mm-hmm. And what is causing inflammation? The three foods. So drop them and start fasting. Your adrenal glands will recover. Now okay. this is the problem. When I give out my number, everybody starts to call. <laughs> hey guys, we are live. Can you stop calling? <laughs> so uh, honestly. Yeah, every time I give out, I had, uh... <laughs> yeah, they so they start to disrupt the internet. The same, everybody's the calling. Number you're using. It's the same phone you're using for TikTok for the live. Yeah, but I've, li- I've limited those calls. So now when the call comes in, Ninanza could inhibit the flow of the, inter- of the net. 
But yes, yeah. uh, we'll continue. So I've yeah, limited it. Don't come and The number it. is working. You have confirmed it is working. Can we please pro uh, proceed with the live? You can try calling yes, on Monday. Simply, simply yeah. use WhatsApp. Don't even call because it, it hung up. So go for, go for the option that is WhatsApp. Yeah. That's the easy option. Now, the, the other question I would ask, if, if this, is, this is also for myself, eh, about supplements. Can we mm -hmm. talk about supplements? Yes. Um, I know... Uh -huh. I know about the the likes of the B12 when I after when I when I was done when I lost my weight eh? uh for those who do not know mm -hmm. I lost about 33 kgs within a period of 3 months because I uh, a period of 7 months and I was doing intermittent fasting yep. sometimes I was doing a uh, short fast sometimes I was going for really long fasts so after that I went to health oh. use center in Sarit center of course they they try to take the body my my body composition eh? the nutritional uh what do you call it it's like uh, the nutritional composition of my body and i was found out to have some deficiencies eh? after that so i was put on some uh, supplements the vitamins uh then later on of course following the doctors i have been i've been hearing a lot about magnesium and how on its benefits right so i have been taking vitamin b it's what yes. i don't know i don't have it here it's somewhere in the bedroom but anyway basically maybe <laughs> just highlight eh? when you talk when you talk about supplements what supplements are safe because I, I have seen some of your videos whereby you are discouraging people from taking supplements such as calcium and the likes so what supplements should people be taking yes. and if people are doing intermittent fasting can should they be using supplements and do they break a fast I don't know, all that information based on uh, basically talk talk to us about supplements the good the bad the necess the, the necessary ones when to take them when not to why the, pro the, pro the problem i have with supplements is yeah. why would somebody take supplements from food synthesize them package them and then sell it to the to you and then call it multivitamin I mean, vitamins don't exist as multi, they exist as individual entities. So why, uh -huh. why would I synthesize them and give it to you? And I know when I synthesize vitamins, they become synthetic and the body does not know how to assimilate synthetic products. The body wants natural vitamins. There is no vitamin or supplement or mineral that is not available in foods. But unless you are diabetic or hypertensive, now you will require supplements as you edit your lifestyle and your diets. If you're lacking sleep, if you have hypertension, then magnesium supplements can be best for you. Mm -hmm. Some supplements for omega-3 are very effective. However, why don't you just concentrate on eating healthy foods and get those supplements from foods? Because every green leafy vegetables, the eggs, the liver, they have all the B vitamins that you need. Mm -hmm. Now, vitamin D is coming from cholesterol. Cholesterol is coming from fatty meats. And then you activate it by walking to the sun. So people who are in the West and they have a problem with vitamin D because of lack of sunlight, then they can take vitamin D supplements, but they have to take it with vitamin K too. Mm -hmm. So that you maximize on absorption of that vitamin D. Okay. You get the point. So, so, so again, you cannot activate vitamin D if you have a problem with the liver and a problem with the kidneys. Mm -hmm. So you need to fix your kidneys and liver by dropping the inflammatory foods. So that yeah. your supplements can work with healthy foods. Mm -hmm. So I'm not against supplements, but I'm just saying, why don't you get supplements from food? Why would you get them from a tablet or a capsule? That is synthetic. Go for natural supplements. Mm -hmm. They are in seafoods. They are in salt. They are in uh, green leafy vegetables. They are in cruciferous vegetables. They are in fatty meats. They are in organ meats. They are in eggs. Use that. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me talk. I'll... I'll ask about magnesium eh? i was researching on it a lot because uh, well, mm. after i lost that much weight i used to feel so cold i was freezing but then please talk about that eh? why are you always cold when you lose weight you're always cold like i would stay all day long from morning people are people are moving jackets i am putting on some more you know some more warm clothes then um after of course some cons consultations here and there with the coaches and health these are uh, nutritionists and stuff i was told uh maybe what i i should do is try to take what magnesium supplements and i did go to health you and i bought magnesium supplements eh? and i started taking them and i can tell you um i stopped feeling cold now i went back as as in 
I used to freeze a lot. I even did a video on that on TikTok. Eh? Even some people had highlighted there. Can you try maybe doing some magnesium supplements? That's number one. Number two, I used to experience a lot of insomnia, especially every time I was fasting for more than 36 hours. So and then I and I feel like since I started taking magnesium, it has helped me. Am I lying to myself? Is it a, some belief that I have put on myself? Or are they really working for me? And if they're not good, then what should I do? What should I supplement that with? What kind of foods? Uh, I don't know if it's my, my internet or yours. You katika katika. Guy, you yote ni So uh, you didn't hear anything so about I don't know, that. I don't know kama ni internet. Yango maniako. Okay, guys, can you tap the screen? I don't know. I, I hear people saying tap, 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 tap. Guys, can we try and tap, tap, tap? Hello, can we tap, I'm not, tap? I'm not able to hear you clearly. You can't hear me clearly. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Uh, the network is... Oh, you hear me? People are hearing me? Uh, guys, can you hear the dog? Hello, hello. Let, let's see. Let me. Like let on me my see. side, you're like yes. hanging and stuff. Yeah. Uh, some people are saying they can hear you. We can hear. They can hear both of us. Dog, oh, someone oh. is telling you it's your internet. What is happening here? Let's just see. Is it uh, that somebody is trying up? to call or something? This is the problem with me. Uh, that's why I like giving my contacts at the end of the conversations. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm not that. able to hear you clearly. It's people who are calling. Guys, can you please stop calling the dog for now? Can we just finish the live? Then you can try that later. You are the reason as to why we are hanging. I don't <sighs> know. 